What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Droid Live channel. Today we're going to be doing a, another short video on how to install your USB SD wizard. It's a program add-on where you can back up your Kodi settings. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and um, get into the steps on how to install it. Okay, at your Kodi home screen you want to go to uh, System. Then you want to click on File Manager. Then you want to click on Add Source. Now in the first box above, you want to click inside and you want to type in http colon forward slash forward slash cody dot shop droid life dot com. Make sure that link is correct. Click done. And now in the second box below, you want to type in anything you want. In this, in this case, we're going to type in droid and then click done and then click OK. Okay. And then you want to click back to the home screen and now you want to click on system this time. Okay. And then you want to click on add ons. Then you want to click on install from zip file. Now you want to select that link that we created earlier called Droid or whatever you named it to. And you should see you should see USB wizard. Now you want to go ahead and click on that. And the bottom right corner you should see USB SD card wizard enabled. Now once you do see that, it just means that it's been installed correctly. Now you can find this under your program add-ons. So that's where you need to find under your build program add-ons. And then once you open that up, you're going to be able to find USB SD card wizard. Now, when you open it for the first time, it's going to ask you um, ask you to point to a directory where you want to back it up to. Okay, for example, um, it's going to look like this, and you want to select that backup folder. So when you do perform a full backup, it's going to be saved onto there. And later on, um, when you do want to restore your files, you just want to uh, point that folder, uh, point to the folder, or your backup folder. You hit that restore button and then full restore and it's going to restore your settings but you do have to have USB SD card. Now this is a method where you can actually save your backup and then if you wanted to load it onto a different device you can definitely do that. You just need to have that backup folder saved onto the new device somehow and uh, have USB SD installed and then use that to restore it on the new device.